Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your monthly reading for the Sagittarius folks for the month of February 2019. Um, so I am actually going to be doing two different um, types of readings, not all in one video. This There will be a separate video for the other one. Um, but one is our regular, which I'm doing here. And then I'm also going to do the Chinese Zodiac because we have the Chinese New Year on February 5th. So I'm going to be doing a reading for all the, um, the Chinese Zodiac signs. And I might even, now that I'm thinking about it, I might even actually be drawing um, some cards for those signs. So we'll see how that shakes out, um, what happens with that. Uh, but um, I'm hoping that that actually video will be done so I'll be able to post a link in here. Otherwise, look for that on my um, Feng Shui Friday playlist. Um, if you're new to me, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and that you are getting notifications. So if you click on the bell, you will get the notifications. And um, also for the people that have been long-term uh, subscribers, make sure that you have hit the bell as well so that you get notified when that Chinese astrology reading comes up for the month. Because I'm going to be sharing who's going to be having a good year, who's going to be having a challenging year, what the challenging people can do about it, also what industries are going to be successful this year, and just other general themes for the year of the Earth pig. Um, so you get kind of a bonus this month in that extra Chinese zodiac um, reading for you guys. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to share with you is I have a uh, an opportunity for you to come and spend a whole week with me in Maui. And at the very end of this video, you'll hear all kinds of stuff about that, what that's gonna entail, and how you can make that happen. Uh, let's go ahead and rock and roll, Sagas. We'll see what's going on for you. All right, so we've got um, the Emperor coming in, which is Archangel Michael. So you have this really strong Archangel Michael energy coming in for your theme for this month. And Michael is all about structure. Um, this is about getting organized, being disciplined, um, doing things logically, right? And really like, you know, setting yourself up for success. And I feel like that's a piece of the organization, right? Getting yourself organized really, really helps with that. So that is gonna be a general theme this month. You may find yourself doing some decluttering. You may find yourself um, just, you know, clearing things out, just organizing things, and that's Archangel Michael helping you with that. So yay, we love that. Uh, one of my favorite books related to clearing clutter is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, and it's getting a lot of, Marie Kondo is getting a lot of press recently because she just started a um, TV show on Netflix about that um, and so she has a couple different books one is called spark joy and the other one is the life-changing magic of tidying up i recommend starting with the life-changing magic book first um, that will give you the whole process and the whole system uh, to be able to do it and it will it does change your life like it, it really does make a difference i've done it a bunch of my clients have done it um, even friends have done it and it does make a difference so yay all right uh, so we have um, watching clouds is coming in for you this month. So this is going to be a month also to rest, relax, recharge, let's sit back, watch the clouds, right? So this is going to be, you are going to have sort of that balance. So you're going to be getting organized, structured, discipline, and then also make sure that you're making time to rest and relax and watch the clouds go by, right? Both of those things are important. Um, we also have choosing your path. So this is letting you know that you get to choose. Anything that you want is possible. If you desire it, it is available to you. It is, you do have the ability to create it in your life. Um, so just because you desire it means that it is, um, it can happen. So in the non-physical, it's already done. Like what you want has already been created and you just need to open yourself to receiving it. So that's a beautiful energy. And then we also have transformation. Lots of great cards for you guys this month. Transformation is a biggie because of course that is about change, about significant change. So transformation isn't just like small change. Transformation is big change, right? Um, fresh new way of um, really just um, being in your life, a fresh new way of living that is coming through for you in this month of February. So wow, lots of good stuff coming in there. Let's see what's happening with your romantic relationship this month. Oops, they want that one. 
okay, I will take that one. All right, so calling in your soulmate. So some of you are single that are watching this, and they're letting you know that your prayers, your affirmations, your intentions do make a difference in bringing your beloved to you sooner. Um, so call them in, invoke them. Um, to bring you two together. Um, it really does make a difference. And energetically, people feel that. So if you're in a space of heart openness and you're like, beloved, I'm ready for you, um, that is sending out sort of like these bing, 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 bing symbols, sing, signals to your beloved to uh, get attracted to you, right? Um, so, and then there's some of you, so that's for people that are single. And then for people that are in a relationship, we are getting, give your relationship a chance. So this is, um, don't throw the towel. This is like, do the work. Do some work on your relationship. Bring it back into fresh energy. Um, work on the partnership. Work on yourself, I always say, first and foremost. And then um, work on the partnership. But I feel like you can do both at the same time, right? So be doing your inner work and then also be committed to spending time with that person, to talking with that person, to communicating, all of those things. Um, and for all of you, you deserve love. So this you deserve love is coming in very strongly, letting you know that you are lovable. Just because you exist, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to change your body. You don't have to lose weight. You don't have to do anything. You are lovable just the way that you are. Okay, and your beloved will recognize that um, and will, you know, will love you regardless of what you look like, regardless of what's going on in your life. Um, so many times I think we feel like we have to have all of our ducks in a row or we have to be in our perfect physical shape and everything has to be in order in order to have that beloved come in. No, untrue. You are lovable exactly the way that you are. So good. To learn more about how to become more vitally you, check out the next video where I'm going to share with you how you can join me in Maui for a week in November. So much love and light to you in the meantime. Aloha. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji. And today I'm super excited because I'm going to share a bit more detail about my upcoming retreat on Maui. So as you know, if you've been following me for a while, Maui is a magical place. And it really, um, the essence of Maui, it's, it's hard to actually relay even. And I know the pictures are amazing and the videos that you guys see that, make, that I post all the time on the, um, you know, on the social media, various social media channels are incredible. And it's so much more than that, like just energetically. So this retreat is called Vitally You. And it's really about becoming more who you vitally are, who you truly are. So we're going to tap into that, um, so many different things that we can do around that, but we're tapping in to your higher wisdom. We're tapping into your connection with your environment. We're tapping into um, bringing more fun into your life. So many different things, right? And so um, this retreat is really meant to open you up to dreaming again, to expanding your possibilities and what you are able to create in your life. So the point is to help you create more of that fabulous, um, maybe fantasy vacation-like lifestyle that you truly desire. And I'm super excited about it. Uh, so we are going to... Um, be surrounded by angels while we are here. So what one of the things that has come in very strongly is that the angels um, with, you know, my facilitating, the angels will be clearing the space before we even arrive. So the place that we are seeing is the Wailea Inn, which is absolutely amazing and gorgeous. And I'll show you some pictures as we move along here. 
and the uh, they are going to we are going to clear the space before we even arrive and each room bedroom will be anchored with an angel and then each individual that is coming to the retreat is also going to be assigned an angel. Um, so I kind of laugh at their wording around that assigning because um, it is. There's Everyone is going to be working through different things, right, when we're there. And different things will come up for you because Maui has a way of bringing up things to the surface for you to take a look at them so that they can be cleared. So it's kind of like about really allowing you to be able to see your obstacles, see what's blocking you, see where the resistance is in your life to creating what you really desire. And these angels, a specific angel, will be with you throughout the week to help you with that. Um, which I is absolutely incredible. Like if you did nothing else all week, but just hung out at the villa or, you know, hung out on Maui with your angel, your life would change. But we have a lot more in store for you than just that. So that piece of it is amazing. Angels, um, the archangels are around me all the time. Uh, people that see angels have said that to me many, many times. They're like, do you know there's a bunch of angels around you? I'm like, yeah, I know that even though I don't, I don't see them. I just hear them. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll see a color or I'll see something that makes me, um, that shows me that that is the angel that is there. But mainly I just hear them uh, talking to me. So when I hear other people say to me, oh, you have angels around you. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm happy that you can see them. <laughs> right. But to really spend a week with the angels is absolutely incredible. So, um, just to kind of give you some basics, and then I'm going to share with you some of the stuff that I've already gotten lined up for the retreat. So the basics of the retreat is November 9th through the 15th. We actually will check in at, um, we can check in starting at 4 on the 9th, and then checkout is by 11 a.m. on the 15th. So it is a six-day um, or I'm sorry, seven day, six night retreats. So there'll be six evenings that we'll be spending at the villa, the Wailea Inn Villa. And um, I, I'll i share with you the link below. It has all the retreat details. So if you want to go in and like, you know, check out the rooms and all that kind of stuff, you can do that. But I want to share with you here some of the things that are included. So this is an all-inclusive retreat. That's one thing I felt was very, very important um, coming to Maui is that you know you're taken care of. So from the minute you arrive, you will be picked up from the airport and brought to the retreat space. If you are staying somewhere else, um, uh, some people are arriving early uh, and um, you know other people may be staying longer. So we'll work out the details of that as well, but you will get a um, transportation to the retreat space and back to wherever you're going. If you're, you're staying at another um, location, you will get that. So um, that is included. Our villa is just steps from really world-class beaches, like some of the best beaches on Maui are literally just right there. Um, lots of, there's a park right there, lots of different um, areas to walk, there's shopping, there's um, restaurants, there's activities. Literally the cove that we can see from kind of our like private beach, and I say private in quotes because no beaches on Maui are private, but this one not too many people knew, know about. I didn't know about it until, um, until this, so that, that was kind of a cool, um, kind of a cool discovery when I discovered this beach. So the right near there is a cove where it's really the best place to learn how to stand up paddleboard and to surf. So you have lots of different activities that you can do with snorkeling. There's all kinds of different stuff that you can do also on your own. We have a private pool and a jacuzzi at the villa. So that will be just for our use. It's very private. It's a gated, um, the facility itself is gated or the, it's in a little neighborhood actually, which I think is kind of cool. And, um, and yet it's a gated property. So uh, all the beach towels, beach chairs, um, umbrellas, boogie boards, and other beach toys are all included. They have a couple toy closets that have everything in them. And these 
The beach chairs are the great Tommy Bahama ones where you can actually put it on your back as a backpack. It's really easy to carry. It's got like a little um, cooler section in the in the back of it to a pocket and other little pockets, place for your drink, all kinds of stuff. Um, so those are awesome. We are going to have healthy, organic, um, locally sourced as much as we possibly can uh, meals, which are going to include, you know, fresh fruits from Maui because our fruits are amazing, right? Um, and also potentially locally made um, kombucha and kefir. I um, know a company that that does. Um, does that locally and, and they're awesome. So, and the chef is going to uh, just, yeah, chatted with her and she's super excited to create a menu that is um, based on the plant paradox. So um, those of you that aren't familiar with that, it's um, a way, a way to eat that is, um, takes out the gluten and also lectins because lectins are actually the thing that a lot of people have an issue with and they don't necessarily even know that. And so a week you're going to be able to, um, you know, eat this way and it's delicious. Like the food is amazing. So super excited about that. Uh, we will also have the transportation obviously to and from our excursions that is included as well. So let's get into kind of the fun activities to uplift you during the retreat. So we are going to be um, offering yoga three mornings um, while you're there. Uh, local gal Jen is going to be teaching yoga and she's amazing. Like, gosh, she just is so, so good and really great about giving different options for different people. She's also very She's been on island for a lot of years, and so she has a lot of wisdom to impart around uh, Hawaiian traditions, and she'll, she'll bring in uh, some of that for you guys as well. And then two days during the week, we are going to offer a Nia dance session. There actually may actually be some additional sessions that are optional that you, you can participate in as well. Um, so Beth Giles is going to be teaching those. She's from the Twin Cities, and um, I'm not going to remember offhand all of the certifications that she has, but amazing. And we're going to be doing that on the beach, on the grassy lawn. There's um, just doing these things outside, and same thing with yoga, doing these things outside is um, just incredible. It, it just brings things to a whole new level. So there will be some movement there that you can participate in. We are going to do a snorkeling boat cruise. So that is a, one of my favorite things to do. And typically they always, I know some people are a little bit nervous, maybe aren't as good as swimmers. Typically they always have life jackets um, or like noodles. That's what I do just because it is, you know, and I even like, I'm a comfortable, I'm comfortable swimming and stuff like that, but I like to snorkel with a noodle then I don't have to think about it. Right. And it's just, um, yeah, you can just float around and typically they'll take us to, the turtle cleaning station. So this is um, a really cool place where turtles go to get the algae eaten off of them. So they actually go into the little station and the fish come and eat all the algae off of them. And then the next turtle comes in and <laughs> it's really super cool to watch, super cool to see, and just tons of turtles. And then of course, lots of other uh, sea life, lots of other fish, beautiful, amazing fish um, that we get to see. So that will be a fun excursion that we'll be doing. We'll also be doing uh, a partial road to Hana. So road to Hana is uh, one of my favorite things to do on the island. I feel like it's a super spiritual journey. Every time I go, there's just this spiritual aspect to it. There's a lot of um, really spiritual places along there. We are actually going to have two Hawaiian um, Two Hawaiian guides. Um, I believe there will be two. It kind of depends on numbers, uh, but the numbers that I'm calculating that we'll have, we will um, most likely have two guides that will be with us. And we are going to go to a couple of my favorite waterfalls, as well as a, a few other very spiritual places along the road to Hana. We won't be going all the way to Hana because um, that is, you know, that's a long, it's, it's a long track to go all the way. So we're not going to go all the way, but we're going to do kind of a partial road to Hana, get you guys um, seeing these amazing, incredible waterfalls that Maui is known for. And then also learning about the Hawaiian culture and the history and what, you know, what these places mean to the Hawaiians. Uh, so that I think is really going to be amazing. 
We are also going to be doing a lay making session um, and a hula lesson. So, and we'll actually be dancing hula at sunset. I worked that out. So awesome. So I'm really excited about that. Um, that will be an optional thing. People can do it or not do it. You know, obviously if there's something that you're not comfortable with doing or don't want to do, um, you don't have to, right? But my encouragement is that you experience as much as you possibly can while you're there. And um, particularly, you know, being in that place of soaking up the, the wisdom and the knowledge that's available about living uh, aloha and what does that really mean? So that is um, the lay making and hula lesson. We're also gonna have a full moon mythology bonfire. Uh, ceremony with that. Um, so they're going to be sharing with us the, the legend of Maui, the demigod, and more about the history of the Hawaiian Islands, uh, all of that kind of stuff. And then we are going to do an Ava ceremony. Um, so Ava, I know it as Kava from Fiji. So when I was in Fiji, we had Kava a number of different times when we were in Fiji. Um, and it's a very sacred ceremony that they do and the way that they make it is, is very sacred. So we're gonna do an Ava ceremony, which is the Hawaiian um, version of the Kava. And that will be with the bonfire and that coincides with the full moon. So we are gonna be doing a full moon release and this bonfire will happen that same day. Uh, so then we are also going to be doing a crystal bowl healing and a sacred cacao ceremony. So that's going to be amazing. A friend of mine um, gets this really sacred cacao from Costa Rica and she makes it, if you've ever had been to a cacao ceremony, some of you know, it usually tastes like crap. <laughs> like it usually doesn't taste very good, but she makes it taste good and it's a drink. So it's not like, yeah. Um, so it's amazing, and it also has just super healing properties as well. Um, so those are some of the activities that we're going to be doing during the week. Um, each day, uh, each of the five main days, I'm actually going to be focusing on an element. So there's five different feng shui elements that we'll be focusing on, and um, the elements are um, fire, water, wind. I'm going to pause here. Do, 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 do. Pause, pause, pause. I'm going to shut my phone. Noise off. So we are going to be focusing on the five elements while we are there. So this is something really unique to this retreat that you will not have experienced at any other retreat, I can guarantee, uh, unless you've been on a feng shui retreat where they have done that. But the five elements are fire, water, earth, metal, and wood. And each of the five main days, so... Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we are going to be focusing on one of those elements each day. And what that means is that I will be sharing information about that element, obviously, but also the food will relate to that element. The activities that we're doing will relate to that element. If there's yoga that day, yoga will relate to that element in some way or Nia dance will relate to that element in some way. Um, and I'm super excited, especially about the food aspect of things, about bringing in that, that element for that particular day. So super excited about that aspect of it. Um, as far as, you know, what is it that you're going to be able to take away um, from the retreat? We have many um, transformational experiences that we're going to be offering as well. And these are going to assist you in becoming more vitally you. We are going to be talking, um, I'm going to be giving you information about daily rituals that you can do. And these are things that you can do um, when you're at the retreat and then also be able to take them home with you as well. We are going to be, as I mentioned, um, focusing on the five elements and how to use, utilize those in your home, in your office, um, with your life, with your emotions, all of those different things. So we're gonna bring in the aspect of elements to that. So you get a lot more information about like how can you actually work with the elements to raise your vibration and to become more vitally you. We are going to be doing a 90-day creation process. So this is a, 
a signature process that I've um, developed from a, a couple different, I've pulled it from a couple different things and it just works really well to help you focus for a 90 day period. So um, I feel like the year planning is, is a, especially in the, in this now dynamic of the 5D where things are changing so fast, it's really hard to plan a whole year out. I like the 90 days, it's an easier chunk and you do seem to make more progress when we do that. So we have a 90 day creation. We're also gonna do 50 fun things for business and for life. So you're gonna be able to creating these lists of 50 fun things that you can do in your life and also 50 fun things for your business uh, to help bring more of that lighter, playful energy into those um, aspects. So that's going to be amazing. I'm super excited about that. We're also going to be kind of digging into the emotions. As I mentioned, Maui has a way of bringing things up. So we are going to, I'm going to share with you tools of how you can work with emotions and how does um, resistance show up in your life, like to recognize when it's resistance that's blocking you and to actually help and help you see what might be blocking you from, from doing what you need to be doing or moving forward on a project that maybe you're super excited about, but it just doesn't seem to be flowing. So we're going to be working with that aspect of things. You'll learn some new tools around that. I will also be sharing uh, feng shui for your office and the participants in the retreat, you guys, will be able to bring um, or actually send hopefully to me ahead of time uh, pictures of your office as well as just a, a drawn floor plan and then I'll use that to help teach and to show people uh, everyone, you know, what are some of the things that we can do uh, to shift the energy in our office to make it more supportive for us. So that's going to be amazing. I'm so excited about all of those. So excited. And then, of course, the angels want to come in and they are going to, we are going to be doing a full session with the angels about deepening your connection with your spiritual team of angels and guides and also get um, get you in a place where maybe you're a little bit more open to hearing what they have to say and get you communicating more with your spiritual team and your angels and guides. So that's going to be an amazing session. And I may actually do some, um, I may just do some like a gallery style uh, readings in that session as well. We'll see. We'll see what they have in store. We never know. Um, so it's amazing. And then, um, we, I also have a swag bag that I'm going to be giving each participant that is going to have just a, some things that will really help you on your journey when you get home. Um, these are things that will, will assist you. And I'm not going to give you any hints because I want it to be a surprise. And uh, so, yeah, super excited about that. So you're going to be surrounded by angels all week long. You're going to be in a beautiful setting. Maui is amazing. The energy of Maui will change you. Um, in one week, you will experience more personal and spiritual growth than you may have experienced in years. It is that powerful, just the energy of it. And I'm getting chills as I'm sharing that. Um, so if you are in a space where you are ready to get yourself set up for 2020, because it's coming very, very soon, and this retreat is in November, if you're ready to get set up for 2020 and to really become more vitally you, check out the links below for additional information and registration. So, and of course, um, spaces are limited. Um, I only have so much space in the villa. And um, so it, if you're interested in this, if you're feeling the call, and that's the one thing I would say is check in with yourself and make sure that you're getting a yes, right? Getting a full body yes uh, around that. And um, not to say that you won't have some resistance because often when we're called to do things that are um, for our higher good, there is resistance. So there may be some resistance, but typically you can feel the excitement. You get maybe get chill bumps, um, chicken skin as we call it here in Hawaii. You might get the angel bumps, um, just that confirmation that, oh yeah, this is right and true and I need to be there. So I know the angels have been telling me that they are, um, they are, um, going to be bringing this to the people that need to see this. So if you're watching this video, that is like one sign right there, right? So 
have, have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. So much love, so much aloha. Hope to see you in Maui in November.